On Indolence in Six Odes of John Keats, the speaker describes seeing the vision of three faces, each of which fades in turn. The first face is that of a fair maid called Love. The second belongs to a watchful ambition. Last is the face of his demon, Poesy of Poetry. Poesy the speaker loves most, even though the greatest blame is given to her. The fading of the faces causes the speaker to ask what love is and where to find it. Ambition comes from a man's heart in a short fever fit. Poesy is all about indolence or laziness and doesn't listen to common sense or concern herself with business. In stanza three, the speaker claims the faces have come by again and wonders where they have gone. He describes his sleep and dreams and decides to stay where he is out of a love for indolence, telling the visions to vanish and to never return. The speaker professes ode on indolence is a salute to indolence or laziness. However, it's also about the conflicting feelings of numbness and affection Keats experiences in the wake of his brother's recent death and his attraction to Fanny Braun. He's still wrenched by grief at Tom's December 1818 death from tuberculosis, the same illness that claimed their mother and uncle. And since the previous autumn, he's experienced symptoms of tuberculosis himself. If the three visions meant instead to tempt him back into everyday life, he vows they will fail. Notably, the speaker's decision not to engage with love, ambition, and poesy seems to run counter to his ruminations and advice in the other odes, which give instructions to live life fully in order to experience all the joy and pain that is offered. The speaker often grapples with the notion that poesy, or poetry, allows artists to become immortal through their words. So his decision not to follow it here feels like a more philosophical question. The structure of Ode on Indolence greatly resembles Keats's other odes, using 10-line stanzas as well as borrowing from other sonnet structures invented by Shakespeare and Milton. Keats again relies on assonance to create a rhythm through repeating vowel sounds, which can be seen in lines such as, Oh, why did ye not melt and leave my sense?